We begin with a holiday miracle. A man is found alive tonight, nearly six days after his pickup truck slid off the road in northwest Indiana. This afternoon, two fishermen found his truck underneath the Salt Creek Bridge on I-94 in Portage. NBC 5's Evrod Cassamy is live with the details of this amazing rescue. Evrod. Yeah, guys, amazing is right. Traffic was backed up for nearly two hours while rescuers worked to free this man from that mangled truck. And in the end, it was two men who were credited with likely saving his life. It was supposed to be just another fishing trip for Mario Garcia and his son-in-law, Navardo Della Torre, the day after Christmas. It turned out to be a Christmas miracle when they discovered a truck that had crashed and found a body inside. I went to touch it, and he turned around. And that just, it, it almost killed me there because it, it was kind of shocking. But uh, he was alive and he was very happy to see us. The male victim from South Bend told them he had crashed the truck along I-94 last week Wednesday. He was trapped and couldn't reach his cell phone for help. He tried yelling and screaming, but nobody would hear him. It was just quiet, just the sound of the water. Their cell phone video shows just how mangled the truck was. The rescue proved to be difficult, but eventually first responders were able to free the man, believed to be in his late 20s. He was taken by helicopter to a South Bend hospital with life-threatening injuries. Our first priority is getting him um, help, get him to a hospital where he can be treated. Um, we've got plenty of time to interview him and try finding out what happened. Um, but right now we don't know. While they don't want to be called heroes, these good Samaritans shudder at what could have happened if their curiosity hadn't peaked. It could have been a different outcome if we either didn't go out or didn't see him. But uh, I'm, I'm just glad we did. And he's certainly glad that they did as well. Of course, the mild weather likely playing a role in his survival as well. Now, here's the thing. Tonight, there still is no indication as to what could have caused that crash or how he was able to survive for so many days without any food or water. And there was no missing persons report while he was in that vehicle all of that time. Tonight, that victim has not been identified. His identity has not been released. We're live tonight near I-94 in Indiana. Everard Cassidy, NBC5 News. What a story. Great to hear from the first two people who spotted him there. Everard, thank you so much.